What's up guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. This is me having an awkward start to this video and that's okay because it's my first time back and actually making videos which I'm super super happy about. You can tell I'm kind of sick. I uh, know that's not why I've been gone. This is why I've been gone. If you guys are wondering why I've been gone for literally almost a year now, I've got a video that I'm going to be posting pretty soon. Put the link in the description I guess if you guys want to see that. <laughs> Alright, take two. So this right here is my 1990 Mazda Miata. And as you guys have already read on the title of the video, how to turn a $1,500 Miata into a 16 1600 Miata. This Miata right here, I ended up picking up all the way from Idaho. I took a two hour drive and uh, we ended up picking this little guy. We had a couple mishaps on the way, mainly because he didn't want to start and he didn't want to get down here all the way. So long story short, as you can see, I'll do a quick walk around of him. He needs some love. He needs some love. As you can see right here, he got a whole bunch of stuff. I do apologize about the dog in the background, but he's been, it almost looks like he's been paint rolled literally with one of those wall rollers. It's not in bad condition. I mean, I'm more than likely going to be replacing this top because of the condition that it's in right now. The wheels are completely stock. Tail lights with night shades. So what I'm going to be doing is putting some parts cleaner and try to clean that up because I personally think that the OEM headlights in terms of the color, they look really, really good that way. And I don't think that you should black them out. So... All right, so now that it took me like 15 minutes just to get this one off, this one literally took like two minutes or less. This one took, this one was painted and I managed to get it off. Now that we went ahead and took it off, let's go ahead and let's spray them with brake cleaner. And that's actually how you're gonna be able to remove all this nightshade. Um, a lot of guys, they like to paint this to have a darker look, but me personally, I don't really like it that much. And all you gotta use is literally some parts cleaner, brake cleaner, and literally it'll bubble up and peel right off. Definitely wear gloves because it's gonna stain, stick on your hand. I actually already tried it before and uh, well, you can't really see it, but anyways, Wear gloves and uh, wipe it down. get the idea we're pretty much going ahead and cleaning them off putting some brake cleaner on it letting it sit for just a couple seconds if needed go ahead and keep spraying and then you wipe it down don't worry about how matte and hazy these are because in the future i am going to be wet sanding them so they look a little bit better and then clear coating them with some uh, uv protectant you can see the difference between here and here so once i finish up this let's go ahead and start getting into the interior and actually removing a whole bunch of the rust that's back here you can see how dirty it is it's starting to clean up all this <laughs> So, you guys can literally see how rusty it is down here. You can only imagine what the seat looks like underneath. Yeah, it's not that great. Looks like uh, that's a lot of years of wear and tear. Anyways, long story short, I ended up spraying the two bolts up front with PB Blaster and WD-40. They've been giving me a hard time. I've also been spraying the heck out of the sides of the rails because this chair will not budge. It is so rusty. I'm gonna give it my best. Try not to make as fun of me as I would, just because of the way I'm gonna try to get it, take it apart. Enjoy. Fifteen minutes later. Just gotta break it free. Ah. Come on. Thousands of tears later. loose that's what she said <laughs> i'm gonna take five all right so after a good about 35 minutes of wiggling and working this chair we can finally get to the back of the bolts Whew, we can finally put pp blaster back there look how much rust is back here you can only imagine how stuck these guys were together so now that we have the car all vacuumed up we're gonna go ahead and throw it tail lights in and call it good i just barely threw in this brake light right here it looks so much better than what it looked like before the tail lights are officially back in and you cannot tell me that that looks worse than before <laughs> compared to what it looks like this looks so much better ignore the blue i know the blue looks pretty pretty gnarly we are going to have to go ahead and sand it down and then respray it it is officially the next day that we are working here on the miata as you guys can see i went ahead and i reinstalled all the taillights 
and the uh, side markers. I didn't actually show that just because it was gonna be time consuming. They look so much better. Today, we ended up going to O'Reilly's and we picked up this aircraft paint remover. We're gonna go ahead and test it out on this. I've used it before on my old 350Z and it worked pretty darn well. Uh, my sister's actually gonna go ahead and remove this trunk lid and we're gonna go ahead and see how it works. If you guys have any suggestions in terms of paint color, I would greatly appreciate your suggestions just because I've been debating between going back to its original color, which was silver, or like a white, maybe a black and purple, or even like a uh, a red with a uh, with a flake or something like that. But let, definitely let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Let's go ahead and lift this real quick, Vic. Ready? Oh, antenna. One-handed. There you go. Are you going to open it up? Give it a good mix. Looking great. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo, don't do that. Gross. <laughs> All right. Now, open that little guy up. I'm gonna put my professional sleeves on. Bear with me, she's kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> How do I open this? Just open it. Push down and open. It's like baby proof, like one of those know, like bro, just pilot give me, give me, give me this thing. Push down and you, oh shit. <laughs> Are you tightening it? No. Oh. There we go. Okay. okay, I do have to tell you guys that this stuff is really strong. I actually can already smell it from here as soon as we open the bottle. I do recommend that you wear a respirator, but because we're out here in the outdoor environment, I think we're going to be okay. It's flammable. Be very careful with using this stuff. Go ahead and lather it on, Vic. Just like small drops everywhere. Okay. Today, Junior, I don't have all day. <laughs> Let's go. Get ready to be exposed. All right, hold on. Like this, doesn't matter which way it goes. Just put it on. Just like... Yeah, perfect. Great. <laughs> So literally after 15 minutes of this stuff being applied on top of this trunk lid and it's already peeling off, I was to take the paintbrush and literally just go with the back of it. You can already see the bare metal. And you can actually see the silver, the original paint color right there, which is what we want to come off. We go ahead and grab our spatulas and we're gonna go ahead and start scraping it off. Look how easy it is after that. After waiting just a couple more minutes, well, you think it'd be easier than that, but you get the idea. Guys, okay, so we are slowly making progress, even though it really doesn't look like that much. This is my actual second coat right here that I'm doing, and it's going by pretty slowly, but that's okay, because that doesn't mean I'm not gonna be able to get it done. I will get it done. I'm just going to leave this, because I don't want to be filming something that's gonna be pro more than likely bore you guys, but I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys that are tuning into this video right now. If you guys wouldn't mind, hit the like button, put some stuff in the comment down. Let me hear you guys, let me hear you guys' voices. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Without further ado, I can't believe I forgot my outro. It's been a year since I've done this. Work hard, kick ass, and never ever stop trying. Peace out, guys.